Hello and welcome back. Today we will be creating a Wheel of Fortune in Affinity Photo for iPad and use it in LumaFusion to animate it. Let's go! We will start in Affinity Photo and create a new document. I will use the device dimensions and make sure the canvas is transparent. To create the wheel, we will start by adding a circle to our canvas. Quick tip, by holding down one finger while drawing an ellipse, we'll make sure it will be a perfect circle. Our wheel of fortune will consist of 8 parts. So let's convert the circle to a pie and resize it so it has an angle of 45 degrees. Once we have our first pie, let's duplicate it until we have 4 pies. After giving each pie a color, let's group them. Now, if we duplicate this group and rotate it with 90 degrees, we get the other half of our wheel. Excellent! Let's draw another circle. This will be our path layer for the numbers on the wheel. After making sure it is aligned correctly, we can use the artistic text tool and tap on the circle we just created. Before adding the text, let me increase the font size. Now that we have a good font size, I will type in the numbers 1 to 8. I will also move the end path handler, so we cover the whole circle. If we open the character properties, I can set the text to justify. This will force the text to use the whole width of the path. Excellent! Let me fine tune the positions of the numbers and change their color. I think our wheel is ready. Time to export it to LumaFusion. From the main menu we choose export. If we want to export this as a PNG we would like to preserve the transparency. Let's check the preview. Looks good to me. Instead of exporting it to a file, I'm going to show you another way how we can share it directly to LumaFusion. Press and hold the PNG button. While keeping it pressed, swipe up with another finger to get the taskbar and open up LumaFusion. Now we can drop the PNG on LumaFusion. It will be automatically imported in the current LumaFusion project. From the imported files, I can drag and drop the wheel to the timeline. Let me add a background image below. When we open up the details of the wheel, we can resize it. Great! Let me also darken the background image. I will need a marker for the wheel, so I will add an overlay title, remove the text and add a triangle shape. Looks good for now. Time to animate the wheel. We can easily do this by opening the details of our wheel and adding keyframes. With each step we can increase the rotation. To make the animation a bit more dynamic I will rotate a little bit further than the end value and then rotate back. This gives this nice resisting spring effect. And here is the final product. Pretty awesome. Of course it's not perfect as I just wanted to give you an idea how to create a spinning wheel using Affinity and LumaFusion. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.